Good afternoon, Todd Thornton from TransWest Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. Thank you for joining us today. I would like to show you a beautiful custom ordered exterior paint, Newmar Dutch Star 4081. This coach is stock number 5N201373. And it is the Dutch Star, 2021 Dutch Star 4081. As you can see on the exterior, this paint is probably like no other Dutch Star in America right now because it is the custom ordered paint job, which is kind of unique with Newmar. You can, for about $2,000, you can order, you can't change the schematics of it, but you can change the colors. So you can make this black, this silver pink if you wanted to just all different types to kind of customize your, your new Dutch Star or any, any model for that matter. Um, real quick, we're gonna go over some of the bays. This right here is your standard um, fuse and breaker bays. Uh, it also has your, um, to get into your generator, pop that open, the generator that only comes out the front. It is running on Michelin 315-80R22.5 tires all the way around. This is an all-electric coach, so it is powered by the 8 group um, or the 8 AGM maintenance-free batteries for the house and two chassis batteries. It has the chrome package below here with the chrome handles and the chrome makes it look really, really nice. Again, there's that deep blue, silver, white, and kind of some gray. It's got pass-through storage. This tray will come in and out, so you can utilize the middle of the coach without breaking your back and making it really hard to get in there. It has the Oasis hydronic heating module. That is going to be your primary heat source and your um, continuous on-demand hot water. It's also gonna have two heat pumps in the AC units and heated floors. You've got a 50 foot, uh, 50 amp power cord with an automatic transfer switch. So no more plugging the coach back into itself when you're using your generator, and that is on a power cord reel. The water bay has a built-in uh, aquamizer, or not aquamizer, a, uh, a built-in um, Santacon system. It also has a traditional sewage dump system. It has a full house filter all stainless steel with it etched in the back so it's not going to fade and peel and, and uh, some of the cheaper brands have the, they just put stickers on there and it looks pretty awful after after a while so full house filter you got a steerable tag axle on the back also running with the michelin 31580s side radiator the Dutch Star is powered by a 450 XCR horsepower motor with a 15,000 pound tow hitch. It is also equipped with your seven way plug and your built in airline. If you're towing a car with an Air Force One system, any type of air braking system, it's already set up for that. It's got the 360 camera system, so you got one camera here and one camera high above. There's a setting on here, it's pretty cool. It looks like uh, when you're driving, it looks like a helicopter's flying above you. Really gives you an overview of the whole coach for safety. Like all the new Mars, you got your egress door. You got two batteries on the chassis with a chassis disconnect right here. You got a 15 gallon def tank and that's the diesel exhaust fluid and you also have a fill on the other side that we walked right by. <laughs> Above you've got your Gerard Nova awnings. They are the more expensive option on these coaches but they're well worth it in my opinion. They look nice. They actually work because they crook down a little bit uh, to block that sun from your TV. Uh, they are motion sensored. If uh, wind starts picking up here they will automatically go in. And they have LED lights built into the end of them 
all the way down the length of this, uh, these two awnings. In here, you got kind of a storage um, bay on the back side of this is your tanks. So they're utilizing this little space to allow you to put chemicals, hang some tools off there. Part of your 360 camera, you got a side camera staring at us right there. You've got a half tray right here that is that you can pull out. Uh, on the other side of that is your hydronic and some of the electronics and stuff. That's why they can't go through a pass-through on this model. You go up to the 4369, you do get an, another full tray and a full bay. Get your exterior TV, which is a Samsung Smart TV with a Bose soundbar. And this one is equipped with the SK, uh, which uh, satellite is on this, SK300. So it's set up for DirecTV, but we can convert it over to DISH if, uh, if you're with DISH. Got the all new Dometic CFX outdoor refrigerator freezer on a slide tray. Quite an upgrade of last year's model. So you can put one side as a freezer, you can put one side as a uh, refrigerator if you want you can set different temperatures all on a slide tray so when it's out you're not hitting your your slide locks right back in you got fill stations on both sides of the coach right down here to fill up your 100 gallon fuel tank you also have individual electric window awnings so if you are not able to Put this awning out at the campground, but the sun shining in. Press a button inside, and a little tent will come down and and cover this window and the big windows on the other side. Keyless entry, again, the 4081 floor plan. Come on in. I'll show you this beautiful Dutch door. So as you can see, this is the 4081 floor plan with the, it was ordered in with the theater seating. You can either order with a couch, theater seating, or individual recliners with a center table. I prefer the, um, this style right here because they're very comfortable, they're large. Uh, got plenty of storage in here, very deep storage in there. They're just very comfortable. I also prefer this uh, dinette booth style. Um, over the table and chairs, my personal preference. It has a table that comes out with two extra leaves, two extra chairs under the bed, and a little leg that drops down here to hold some weight. The decor you're seeing in here is the Norfolk decor with the caramel glazed maple hardwood high gloss. So this has a little bit of a high gloss finish on it. Looks really, really nice in here. You got the all tile floor below us. They are heated with three zones, one zone up here, one mid zone and one bathroom zone. So one here, I should say one bedroom, one bathroom. Across from you, we've got a folding tumble queen bed under here that folds out. We call it a tri-fold with a air mattress. You've got a 48 inch Samsung smart TV here with the Bose soundbar up here. Already pre-wired for both dish and direct. This satellite is set up for direct, so there's a little conversion to, to get it to dish, not the major. And over here, it is an all electric coach again, so no propane on board, no open flames. So you will have your induction cooktop. On the back side of each of these is a cutting board. And like many of times you've probably seen, you can pull this out and cook outside if you chose. You got a Whirlpool induction microwave. Convection microwave, I should say. So it's a standard microwave or you can use it as a convection oven. You got a little island right here for a little extra prep area. Which is very nice. You got a Fisher Paykel dishwasher.
And I'm going to show you quite a bit of storage in this. They try to utilize every little space to get storage. So you can see, get the owner's manuals out of here. Got quite a bit of storage. You got a little slide tray here, a little spice rack up here. All your important information about your coach on this wall right here, as far as your VIN number, your chassis make, model, um, your weights, all that good stuff right there so you can see it real easy. More storage in here. This one has the double sinks. You got your big sink and a kind of a smaller vegetable sink, if you will. Nice uh, slide tray with a wastebasket here, another slide tray there. And then it's got some places to put your, when you're not utilizing these two covers, you can put them down in here. Moving right along, you got your Whirlpool residential refrigerator. The built-in ice maker down here. Probably very similar to your refrigerator at home. Got a water dispenser here. Beautiful pantry uh, for your food. These are the ones you get the new style. You have to push on the last year they had a little lock that wasn't worth a damn in my opinion. These you push it, comes out locks back in there and there's multiple adjustments. So if you needed a bigger one, you could actually take one out, move them around, whatever you needed to. Your mid bath. Pretty small in there, so I won't go in there, but it's got your uh, emaciator toilet. So this has both the toilets are emaciator and it's also got a SantaCon turbo system built into it. They make it very easy behind these two doors if you wanna grab that door. You got all your fuses and breakers in there, so a lot of other manufacturers put these outside in a hidden place underneath the coach. If you're to pop a, a breaker, you're in the middle of the night, you're outside looking for it, fumbling around. This one, you just open that up and you can see it. You also have your GFIs for your floor heat. So if your floor heat's not working, most likely pop the breaker. Moving our way into the bedroom, it has a king bed. And again, this is the Norfolk decor, which is going to be the uh, fabric around the windows, your pillows. Um, this one is a, a sleep number bed with a pillow top. Under here, like I was showing you that table up front, you've got two extra leaves for your table and two extra chairs. So you could actually eat, uh, sit with six people and have dinner. On each side of the bed you've got 110 plugs, two 110 plugs with two USB ports. So you can put your phones there, charge it. Middle of night you each have a little nightstand we call it. Also up here, you've probably seen this in some of the other ones before, there's a plug back there for your CPAP or your BiPAP machine that many Americans are having to use to sleep nowadays. Um, plug your machine in and your little hose will come out this little ports on each side of the bed. So you have your machine in there cutting down some of the noise and then you've got your little mask down here that you can wear. Also back up under here you got your reading lights. Um, you can turn off all your lights in your coach, your accent lights, your security lights outside can all be controlled right there. And if you flip around, we have two nice size wardrobe for her and her, or his and hers, or <laughs> whoever. I mean, if it's, uh, we all know that the, the lady's going to take them both. So, a nice wardrobe, nice deep drawers with soft clothes. You got another nice Samsung smart TV. You do have an emergency exit here, but as you know, most of these Numars have the egress door behind me into the bathroom. So chances of you having to utilize this and get out, it's pretty slim.
And you come on in here, we've got the, let's see this, you got the splendid washer and dryer. here you've got another big storage area in here with a built-in safe back there and it's pretty deep it goes down quite a ways down there so if you have a some longer coats or whatever it's great for for hanging also built-in light there again more soft close drawers here this particular model, the 4081, has a single sink here. You got some nice vanity storage up here. A plug in there for your dryer or hair dryer, whatever you want. You also have a GFI plug up underneath here. Got some nice storage here. Again, they're all the soft closed. Um, this is the, again, the caramel glazed maple high gloss. More everywhere storage. <laughs> In the Dutch star level, you have the th uh, cathedral ceiling here, so it's quite a bit higher than, than say, of the Ventana. The Ventana is going to be a kind of a flat ceiling in here. So if you're taller, Ventana is probably not going to work for you, or the Dutch star will. You've got your switch with you, your egress door there. So if there was an emergency in the front of the coach, a fire broke out, whatever it may be, instead of you trying to fall out that window on the side of the, uh, the that I just showed you up there, this one you can unlock, pull that little tab. There's a little ladder that's vi Velcroed in, it pops down and you, you kind of walk out. Maciator toilet there, a rain shower, um, Nice, nice shower. Uh, big upgrade over last year's 4018 model. The 4081 has the square shower, a lot bigger than the dome shower. It's got a seat right there that you can sit. It's got the AquaView water miser system, so you're not wasting fresh water, waiting for it to, to get the little cold out of the lines. It'll That little LED above the uh, turn on will, um, I believe it turns red when it's hot. Um, don't hold me to that, but I'm pretty sure this is the, the one that has the LED with the red. So once we go back up here, check out the overhead. Real nice soft uh, ceilings, plus your all your AC units. This has um, the AC units that are all covered right here. You can see the vents in there, but it, they make it very nice to muffle the sound, and it just looks a lot nicer. Uh, much more finished product, if you will. Privacy door here that you can close. And you also have built-in speakers right here that you can use the, the dash radio to play music back here or turn them off if you're wanting to go to bed and you're significant, still wants to listen to music up front, you can turn off the speakers back here. These are electric theater seating. You can see they're very big and you can fall asleep pretty easily in that. <laughs> and come over here and check out this massive storage here. You can see how deep that storage is. You can put blankets, put all types of stuff down in there. The televator behind us is on a push button. You press a button and that televator goes away. So if you're not watching TV and you want the, the big beautiful window, you can do that. All the windows up here do open. These open straight up. These have are the crank out ones that open at an angle. So you, if it's raining outside, you can still utilize those windows without rain coming in. that out of the way. Um, you do have seat belts behind this couch, so you can have seat belts for two. And I believe, yes, you also have seat belts behind the theater seating too. They can come up through the theater seats. So you have six seat belts in here. Both of these chairs flip around. 
It is built on the new Freightliner chassis, so you you have your um, your engine exhaust brake built into here. You have your the drive and reverse built into that thing right there. Um, no more over here where you have the the transmission controls. You have an all digital dash. Like I said, with the 360 camera system, this is one of my favorite. As you can see, take a look at that. So you can see it looks a little strange right now because we do have the awning out and stuff, but you can see the one on the far left is a looks like a helicopter or drones flying above you. So you can set that and really keep an eye out what's going on around you. Got your main control systems up here. Your tank levels and your HVAC systems are controlled right there. You got your auto gen start, um, and the wine guard traveler satellite above. You got the Wi Fi Ranger built in, and then all your awning controls, your Oasis uh, hydronic heat system, slide controls. Uh, you can turn off your exterior step. So if you're, you're at a campground, you don't want the step to go in and out, in and out every time. You can, you can turn it off, uh, and it does have a safety thing that if you forget to turn it back on and put it in drive, it will automatically retract. And that is the Dutch Star 4081. Now the bad news. This coach is sold <laughs> and is going to a new owner in Salem, Oregon. So, however, we do have other Dutch Stars available um, in the future. We have some build spots left if you're interested in placing an order. They are going fast. Um, if you have any questions, give me a call at 970-301-3736 or send me an email at todd.thornton at transwest.com. Like I said, the 2021s we're almost sold out of. They're going very quick. We'll soon start over into the 22s. Um, the chassis are, like I said, going quick. So if you're interested in a 4081, a 4369, whatever floor plan, give me a shout. We may have one coming in on trade. Um, that's my job to find one for you. So thank you for joining us today. Again, uh, Mr. Goggins, thank you for letting me to show off your beautiful coach today, your Dutch star, and look forward to you taking it home to Salem. So thanks, guys. Appreciate it.